Assalamu alaikum guys in this video we'll talk about request in Laravel generally let's start as you can see here I created my controller called learning controller and in API roots I created this endpoint slash and the name of root is learn right and by the way I'm using Laravel 10 so let's start the first thing here is related to URLs and here I am consuming my endpoint as you can see returns ok here is also the response right so first of all if you want to get the method of the request we can use a method called method so here request method let's die and dump returns get right what if we change it to post I received an error and let's enable accept JSON also and I will change here to any method back and send again post change it to delete or patch return is the method of the post or the root second method here is the host let's see host here return is the host of our application let's send it here is our host from where if we go to our env file here because I'm using valid it's reset it here let's try and use this site also discover dot test discover 10 as you can see it's changed right here is the host of my application let's back and see our next method which is pass which returns this part of the URL so here our pass send returns after slash here API what if I change it to go for example and I will add it here go send and now it's clear the next method is full URL to return the full URL here so we can use it full URL send here is the full URL if you want to return the URL only we can use method URL let's try to add some parameters as you can see here is different between URL and full URL let's see it again and here is difference returns the whole or the full URL the next method is finished here with query so we can manipulate our URL here so let's remove it right send request again here is our full URL and let's die and dump again the request and I will say with query full URL with query here and I will say name here Ahmed and age 26 send request again and as you can see it's manipulated the URL by adding this query parameters here is the original URL which we sent and here is uh, what the method does added these queries what if we included already this name equal to www it overrides the value right and if you want to get rid of these query parameters one of them or all of them we can say a method here called with the with query parameter so here full url with the with query and select the keys you want and i will say remove name notice what will happen here I am sending the name and as you can see name query parameter removed here and I will say another one age equal to 26 as you can see name only has been deleted what if we remove the age also age also deleted from here here is the original one the original URL what we sent and here is the modified one what if we passed an embed array send again and it returns the same like what we sent the next method here using as method let's remove it dd request as checks the pattern of URL so if you notice here our main application URL here and we can check if it 
slash API slash anything. So we can say here API slash asterisk slash anything. It returns boolean true or false and it returns true. What if we change it to maybe anything APIs it returns false. If we want to check it exactly, API slash go back and say again returns true. The next missed here the same like is but it checks the root name so we can say he is root root is and we can check the root name here in my API I named this root with learn and I will say learn here return returns true if I change it to learns or anything return is false here is how to control about this part using request class in Laravel right using any method because I'm using in here but I will change it to get so again it works and now let's move to headers the first thing here we need to learn about headers is expecting type if you notice here I am passing accept which means this application accepts JSON format so we can say here die and dump request a missed called accepts maybe application slash json return turns true what if i removed it to plain or text plain returns false it accepts text plain it's back here application json accepts true and there is some actually shortcuts in laravel to check if it's accepts application json because it's very common so we can use a method called expects json here expects json it's equal to here request accept application slash json the same so now let's test it here if it controls if it accepts application slash json or not returns true right next method here if you want to access the token a shortcut also called bearer token here return turns null let's set it authorization and i would say here bearer to check a tokens one two three it returns one two three so instead of getting this using header method and substring the bearer and the checking laravel made it easy another method also called is json as you can see here it checks if the application sending json or not so let's stay on dump sorry save send again it turns true right so here is our body i am sending json so what if i remove it here and send again returns false right what if i send for name abc it returns false also but if I send it here, name anything, return is true. Next method here called accepts to check accepts. We explained it already. And another method to get the user IB using IB method. You may know it. Now send it again. It returns the, uh, my local IB address here, right? But if you deploy your application, you will get the real user IB now let's move to body right or the data that we sent from laravel so the first thing here if you want to get the data using this from these query parameters we can use a method called query so we can say request query here and i will say get name send it and it returns ww as you can see here right this one here and maybe ahmed it works also if you want also to get the age you can say get age right here as you can see if you want to set the default value if not exists we can say 10 by default so die and dump again it returns 26 because it's defined let's remove it and let's see and it's here as you can see return is 10 if you noticed all of this value represents as a string by Laravel, right? So if I take it again, name 26, send, 
it returns as a string so take care of that another method here called input for getting data from input so we can say input and I will say here username send it's null what if I send it here using username returns ss right also we can exit directly using username here username check returns the same result what if we have the two parameters I know it's it's rare to happen but let's see what will happen if we had it in the body and in the URL let's see it returns the last defined value so we have here username www and here ss returns the last defined thing another method here called collect to convert your request body to collection so we can see here collect and let's see let's use here name or username and it converted this key to collection as you can see but what if we send an array for example this is ww ee here as you can see converted to collection and we can maybe make some operation using collection method if we want so for example what if we remove it right three methods and if we want to filter it we can say here filter right let's run and see and now we remove the null value after that we can convert it to array using this collection method and it's converted to array right so let's add another key called maybe date here and let's add a date and we can use a method called only to selecting an input so we can see here request select only date not all data sent and as you can see selected the date only we can select multiple by the way not only one so maybe password one two three and we can say here as a second parameter password send request again and it returns only data or date and password without user name the opposite of only as we know is except so return all data except date and password which means it will return only the username let's try and returns only username and age as you can see here it reads as a request by the way so take care of that one last method here is getting a cookie from header so we can say here if we want to send a cookie here cookie and the syntax is like that name and its value like that right let's try and dump it dd request cookie with cookie key is name right it will return a value here and we can change it and it returns with the same logic right also in another video we explained how to upload file using request i will attach it here if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next videos